okay so in this video we will start with prolog programming language okay so prolog is a logic programming language is primarily developed in 1970 i think in france so so i i i wanted to create this particular playlist on prolog because when we'll discuss about mathematics for computer science right in various aspects like theorem theorem proving and other stuff when we'll talk about the mathematical logic this we will try to use prolog as well in parallel so that we will verify whether whether our logic is correct or not so that means learning the prolog is will be useful in various way and also prolog is a language which is used very extensively in um, artificial intelligence as well okay if you see in modern systems like ibm watson and all lot of codes has been written in prolog as well so learning and prolog will be will be interesting and will be useful as well so that's why i just wanted to create this particular play playlist here okay so to start with so what what is prolog here okay so if i just for that i just created this mind map so what will do i'll just try to make it big so that we can we can see it over here okay so as i said prolog is a logic programming language is 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 basically created based on that logic first order logic okay so we will we'll see like when we will discuss about mathematical logic right so it will be more clear at that time okay now it's associated with artificial intelligence and computational linguistics even in artificial intelligence if i just maybe to want to be very specific so in there is a there is a field called natural language processing over there prolog there is a very good scope of using prolog over there okay so we will see in later in future as well how to implement those stuff as well i'll try to cover them as well okay so prolog has its roots in first order logic as i said or formal logic now prolog is intended primarily as a declarative programming language now if i just talk about how prolog is designed and how we write a program in prolog so it completely different when we talk about other programming language like c c++ java or python okay so those those in those languages we need, we, we need to specify all the different different steps over there right just like this example so this is called imperative approach where if let's say i have this i have performing this seven step over there right i am entering a coffee shop i queue in the line and wait for the barista asking for your order okay when they asked i ordered the coffee and they ask like whether you want to take away or not yes i want to take away then you pay then you present your loyalty card if if any okay and then collect the points and then you take your order and walk out okay so there are seven step if you want you have to write the seven step formally okay one by one to this programming languages like c and c++ to to tell them what is the whole flow of it right now in prolog it just a one one line like you just go inside a coffee shop you say large latte for take away please that's all so this is how simplistic prolog is okay so when we'll when we'll program in prolog you will come to know it is very simplest thing in nature when a, a prolog program is basically like a set of clauses over there set of facts and rules so we just define those facts and rule in a program and then just like our sql like like structured query language if you ever about in database we query based on those we query the program uh, the knowledge base over there okay the, those collections of factors rule are basically called a knowledge base over there we can query that knowledge base and based on that knowledge available in the system prolog will try to answer that one okay so we'll see that one as well now prolog has been enormously influential in domains of theorem proving as i said expert system natural language processing and in the in the field of artificial intelligence notably in ibm watson 2 if, if you see it over here okay now if i just talk about the language constructs as i said a prolog program basically consist of facts and rule with with some other other notions as well i will i will discuss in future videos okay both of this together are called a knowledge base now facts are fundamental assertions or of, of the problem domain like socrates is a man and we can think rules are about like inferences about the facts in that domain like all men are mortal okay and the query is like 
questions you ask to the ask to the prolog system like is socrates mortal those kind of stuff over there okay we will see we will see through we will go very deeper into the prolog language to understand every every details of it okay and we will try to use different use cases different times to see how how it looks like okay so we we got a fair idea about pro prolog is now in this tutorial in this series of videos i'll be using a tool calls swi prolog so if i just go to google over here okay if i search swi prolog over here so this will this will be using it okay so let me let me show you how how to download and install it so if i just go to their website over there if we just go to this download tab click on this swi prolog over here okay now there are stable releases so if you just click on over there now based on your operating system you you should be downloading this this that particular version over there okay so as i am using windows 10 which is 64 bit so i'll be i have i have installed and downloaded this one so if you just install it download it over there let's say I will download somewhere in my download folder. So the installation wise, it is it is same like it is just normal Windows based installation. Let's see if it is allowing me to install or not. Okay, it's already installed. So that that's fine. Like it is is very simple. No 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 fancy stuff over there. Okay, you just you just install it over there, and after you install, it should create a desktop shortcut something like this one okay so if i just open it so this will be the default interface of swi prolog where you will be providing some kind of queries over here in this prompt and based on that knowledge available in the system prolog will try to answer them as well so in the next video what we will do is we will try to get a idea or intuition behind facts atoms variables those stuff okay see you in next video